Here we have a worksheet as part of our plants theme unit. This one's called, Did It Come From a Plant? It says, many things we use, eat, or drink come from plants. Which three things in the box do you think came from plants? Color your choices. Do you think this wooden chair came from plants? It did, of course. Wood comes from trees. So we'll color this one in. Do you think this olive oil came from plants? Well, in fact, it does. Olives grow on trees. They're a fruit. We can squeeze those olives to make olive oil. So yes, that comes from plants. Does this metal spoon come from plants? No, it doesn't. How about this book called Silly Poems? Does this book come from plants? Yes, it does. In fact, we make paper and hard card paper out of trees again. So paper is made from trees, from plants. So therefore, yes, a book or anything made out of paper comes from plants. Does this bowl of water, glass bowl of water with a fish swimming around in it, is that made from plants? No, it's not. So the three things we colored, the chair, the olive oil, and the book are all made from plants. Here it says, draw a line from each object below to the plant it came from. Now we've given you some dotted lines to help out, but let's take a look. We have a shirt, a bag of sugar, a rubber car tire, and some jasmine perfume. Over here we have a rubber tree, a cotton plant, some jasmine flowers, and a type of plant called sugar cane. So let's match them up. The cotton shirt is matched up to the cotton plant. Picking this cotton plant, which is white, ends up giving us a shirt. Now the cotton may be white, but we can add dyes and colors to it, of course, to give it lots of color. So the best cotton comes from the southern United States, but also from Egypt, where they grow wonderful cotton. We have sugar, and sugar comes from sugar cane. Places like Hawaii, and it used to be certainly in the Caribbean islands, used to grow lots of sugar cane. You'd cut it down, it was almost like uh, corn stalks, but you'd cut it down and you'd grind it and squish it between a press and you'd get a liquid juice. From that liquid juice you could dry it out and you could get sugar. Of course, sometimes they refine it. You can get brown sugar, you can get white sugar. Here we've got a rubber tire. A car rubber tire. We match up this rubber tire. It actually comes from the rubber tree. It's the sap from the rubber tree. And rubber trees grow in Africa. We take that sap and you harden it, you add some other stuff to it, and you get rubber for rubber tires, rubber balls, all sorts of things can be made out of rubber. And here we have some nice smelly jasmine perfume. Very pretty smelling. And that again comes from the jasmine flowers, which can be pressed and they're Liquids can come out of the flower, and then we can use that flower liquid that's nice and smelly, just like the flower is, to make into a perfume that can be nice and smelly. The jasmine perfume comes from the flower, jasmine. And you might even know a girl whose name is jasmine. There we go. Did it come from a plant?